our 46th lesson about the Bible. Hopefully, this is going to be the last one. I said I have a, uh, a special I wanted to do. And all I got to do is print it up. That's either going to be one or two lessons. But hopefully, we can finish up concluding on the King James Bible. Today, we're going to look at the translation group. We're going to try to finish this. But here, we have to do two weeks. We'll do it. So they had Anglicans and Puritans for checks and balances. When they put forth the King James Bible, they made sure uh, they were learned men. They were men that studied their Bible in the private life. They were men that were used by God, that loved God. There were six separate groups. Six is the number of men. Of 54 men total. No women. No uh, sodomites. I said that for a reason. They met in three separate different locations. And each group was given a particular portion of scripture. Now the rules were. <clears throat> the ordinary Bible read in the church. Which was commonly called the Bishop's Bible. To be followed. As little altered as manuscript of the original permitted. Listen, these modern Bibles, they remove, they subtract, they add. I read the other day, you know, the asses in the wilderness. Or the hot spring. First John 5, the word and the father is removed. That's not what these people did. So I say these scholars, these men that love the word. The name of the prophets and the holy writers, with the other names of the text to be retained, as nigh as be according as they were vulgarly, which means Commonly used. You know, words get words get worse. Jeremiah in the Old Testament, Jeremiah's in the New Testament. Different than the Hebrew and the Greek. Noah in the Old Testament, Noah, the New Testament, they didn't fix it. They didn't change it. Like some King James Bible will change Jesus in Acts chapter 7 back to Joshua. Incorrect. The old ecclesiastical words were to be kept such. The word church not to be translated congregation. And I looked it up today, congregation. You know congregation in the Bible is one place in the New Testament. And even that place in Acts. You know what congregation refers to? Jewish. So when your pastor gets up, oh, we got a great congregation here. Uh, you don't have Jewish people. You may have a couple. The church is out of context. Use the word people are accustomed, multiple words used to be used. They want the people to be accustomed, not exchange, uh, exchange, exchange from the Bible. You know, some of these new, new Bibles, the word to make it easier, it didn't make it any easier. When a word has diverse signification, diverse means different, that to be kept, which has the most commonly used by the most ancient fathers, be agreeable to the propriety of the place and adequately of the faith. The word translated could be secular or Christian use in a Christian word. The Bible is not for the world. It's for God's people. Where do they stay in the modern Bible? The division of chapters is to be altered either not at all or as little as may be if necessary so required. You know, it's, it's funny because 
the chapter three. Paul is being arrested, and he gets licensed to speak. And then you got a whole new paragraph, I believe, chapter. No marginal notes are to be affixed, but only for explanation of the Hebrew and Greek words. I don't understand. This word is archaic. Put it in the margin. You don't need to change it. Crisping pen. Put in the margin. Uh, uh, forget now. Uh, crisping pen. Those, those hair irons. You know, women use to, to stylize their hair. Be sore. Put it in the margin. A broom. That's so hard. Which cannot without some circulation so briefly and fitly be expressed in the text. No study notes in the margins of the new translation. The Geneva Bible, which is the most popular English translation at the time, had many marginal notations, some of which King James read as challenges to his royal authority. He picked up that Geneva Bible, and well, you know what? They don't like that. Don't put that in his Bible, in his version. Many people didn't like the Geneva Bible for the notes. I find them useful. I use the Geneva Bible as a reference when I'm doing my study. This was the main motivation for the new translation. King James didn't like the notes of the Geneva Bible. He did not like the Bible. He didn't like the notes of the King James Bible. There's a big difference. Of uh, there was a word. You can use it explaining the word only. Like I said, be sore, crisping pin, uh, the, thou. Oh, what's that mean? Put that in the margin. Such quotation of places to be marginally set down. And shall fit for the fit reference of one scripture to another. Cross reference scripture was approved. So you can run this verse, and I've got the notes. I'll be reading my Bible, and oh, wait a minute, that would be over there too. That one would go to that one. That was allowed. If you're reading your Bible and it would give you a reference to another place, it would be useful and wise to look. Again, marginal notes of doctrines of religion was not allowed. Cross-referencing was allowed. Every particular man of his company to take the same chapter or chapters and have translated or amended them severely by himself. When he thinking good, when he thought it was, okay, I'm done. All of them would meet together, and when I say 64, 54, would get together. And they would confer the 54 men on what work all the men had done. So, let's say Tom by chance, had the book of Jude. He took the book of Jude home, he prayed, he fasted over it, he, 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 he did what he needed to do, the work he needed to do. Alright, he'd get before the 53 men, him being 54. Alright, this is what I did with Jude. They would reread read it, they would discuss it, they would pray over it, they would acknowledge what was done. Then they would take the book of Jude, and they would hand it over to Fred. And Fred would go off and study and read, amends, 
after Tom. And Tom would be given a section of Proverbs or Psalms or that Dave just did. So when you got these men of the King James translation, it was redone, redone, rehearsed, rehearsed, restudied, reprayed, refasted, re got together over and over to make sure they checked and did their balances. Members checked another members for then all the members checked what the members did together. So this member would check that member, then the members would get together and they would check it all. And if there was an error, they go the, the, the member would go check it, redo it, bring it back, they be all the members together till it was as right. As possible. And as one company had dispatched any one book in his manner, they shall send it to the rest. When you finish with, like I said, when you finish with the book of Jude, you pass it to the next member. After all the members got together. You see, you know, they just said, all right, book of Jude, okay, we're done. No, they didn't do that. Book of Jude, all right. I forget the name. Here, Eric, your turn to do it. Okay, Fred. Hey, Fred, yeah, I just did uh, the Gospel of John. Okay. Let me have it. I'll go over it. Eric, here's the book of Proverbs. These 54 men did the 66 books over and over and over. The members done rule number eight that would be members check other members now switch the works to different groups like I said Jude was from, I forget the name but from Tom did Jude and then after after there was discussion after they got together then Jude was ha handed over to Eric and again different groups the work goes from hand to hands to members to groups, to other hands, to other hands. Checks and balances. So there was one person, he was in a member. When he did it, he went to his members. They looked at it. When the members were satisfied, then they went to the group. And we're done with the group, and went back to a member. I went back to a hand. Then it went to the member. Then it went back to the group. If the, any company, upon the review of the book or work, doubt or differ on any place, to send them the word thereof, noted the, they noted the place with pen, why they had doubts, in detail. I, I, I didn't like this particular, for this reason, da 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 da. To which, if they consent not, the difference to be compounded at the general meeting is to be the chief persons each company at the end of the work. So they got together. I ran out of name. Tom did not like, say, Jude 7. And I didn't like Jude 7, the Hebrew or the Greek. For this word, I really, uh, and he would listen. That would go to the members. That would go to the groups. And if it made far as to the, the head of the heads, all done, the work of the verses and the words unsure, each group gathered their best man, assembled again and reviewed the difficulties. And the challenges. So any problems, any difficulty went up to the learned men, the men of the men of the Bible. In prayer and in fasting in the Holy Spirit. 
when any place of special absurdity was doubted of. Letters to be directed by authority to send to the learned men in the land for his judgment of such a place. If the 54 men could not settle the issue and pen all the manuscript evidence, before you had the evidence completed and the reason you cannot settle, they called upon any person in England well versed in a particular script. So they went outside the 54 men. We have a problem with this place in script. Well, you know, there's this little church here in Ed Edgeborough. There's this man who studies the scriptures in London. He's not under committee, but man, he knows the scriptures. There's this, this doctor at this college of theology. They would send the work to those men. So there were more than 54 men. And there were men that I don't like this. Letters to be sent from every bishop to the rest of his clergy admonishing them the translation in hand and to move and charge as such skillful in tongues of language and having taken pains in that kind to send his particular obs observations to the company whether it was Westminster, Cambridge, or Oxford you recognize those publishing companies of Bible to the King's letter to the Archbishop Encourage of others of the skill and knowledge, wisdom and understanding to, to contribute. So it wasn't just his 54 elite men. Others were allowed. Others. If this work went out and, and somebody not in the group, not in the 54, and they came up to the, to the group and said, you know, I don't, or I think this needs a, their work, their words, their instruction was advised. I know preachers today, you, you try to, oh, who do you think you are? I had, well, you, you know, you can't start a trip because you didn't get my permission. Oh. The director of each company to be the deans of Westminster and Chester for that place. And the king's professor, that came with King James, in the Hebrew or Greek in either university. So these were no dumb idiots. They knew the language. They knew the Bible. These translations to be used when they agreed better than the text of the bishop's Bible. So using the bishop's Bible for a greater help, they would use Tyndale. They would use Matthew. They would use Coverdale. They would use Wick churches. And they would use the Geneva to help make the King James Bible better and more use of the Holy Spirit. You know the modern Bibles only challenge one Bible. And that's the King James. No modern Bible attacks another modern Bible. Check it out. Further evidence of the fact that intention was the King James translation to be more of a revision of the existing English translations than a new translation. What we're going to do is we're going to put it better English. Not a better rending. There's a difference. We want the common person to better read the Bible. We don't want the pastor or the teacher to edit, change, and alter the Bible. There was no Dewey Reigns Bible. That's the Catholic Bible. No Catholic Bible at all. No Alexandrian, Jermone, or Oregon origins. No Western, no Alexandrian Cove, no Westcott and Hort. Those in the Catholic Bible were not allowed. We're only going to use the Eastern Church of Antioch. Can't say that for your modern Bible. 
besides the said director being mentioned, three or four of the most ancient engraved divines of either university not employed in translation to be assigned by the vice counselor upon the conference of the rest of the heads to the overseas and translators as well as the Hebrew and Greek for the better observance of the rule number four be specific or specified rule number four was we're going to keep the words we're not going to make the Bible world we're going to make the Bible for the people but we're going to keep it the Holy Bible and again they would bring outside other than 54 the, the men that were the members who were brilliant in Hebrew, who were brilliant in Greek, <clears throat> who were brilliant in Scripture. Knowledge of church history. Church fathers, not knowing the Hebrew and Greek, but they knew history in the Bible. So they called upon people. They didn't know Hebrew and Greek. But they knew church history and they knew the writings of the church fathers. That would help. There would be no prejudice against language. The scholarship and the learning will be history, historic. That's one of the three things in the Bible. It's the Bible is history. The Bible is doctrinal. We looked at that. We kept the doctrine. We are looking at the history. And then the Bible's inspiration. I wonder how many the king would find in the modern church age of Laodicea today. Zilch. There are preachers in churches. They're the greatest preachers. And they don't have any idea of church history. I'm telling you, if you're a pastor of a church and you got Easter and you got Christmas, you don't know church history. Or you're a fool. Professor of history of Eastern church knowledge, Antioch, of the Bibles of Tyndale, Matthew, Coverdale, Geneva, the Apostles, they knew about the manuscript evidences. They knew about the frag, everything we looked at. And they knew of the Western Church, Alexandria, Westcott, and Hort, abomination. So they knew what was right, and they knew what was evil. And they called the right, right, and they called the evil, evil. That's not your modern Bibles today, my friend. That's not even in the Baptist Church today. They just didn't know Greek and Hebrew, but they knew history. They knew, hey, that's a Catholic doctrine. That don't belong in them. The Catholic Church, Ten Commandments, removes the commandment of idols. You say, well, how do they get Ten Commandments? They take number ten and they break it into two. These group of men say, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Put that idolatry back in there. God says, don't have it. I don't care what the captain say. On translation rules number 6, number 1 and 14 are, are interesting. You go back and look at it. Rule number 1 mandated that their translation use the Bishop's Bible as a base text whatever possible. was likely because the bishop's translation was the official Bible of the church. And King James didn't like the notes of the Geneva Bible. However, Tyndale's translation ended up being the far more eventual accounting four-fifths, 80% in the New King James Bible New Testament. 
So the Bishop Bible was to be the rule, to be the thumb. But Tyndale's came out to be, uh, that, that's God's work. That's what God wanted. When the translators finished, the academic empire of England was united to have their part in the pre-finished work. So when it came to be finished, oh, you know, the 54 men, they were, no, no, and you know what? Do you realize that our pastor of our church helped the King James people committee? They asked him questions. Do you know that Ralph that sits in a pew in our church, man, he knows history. He helped on the King James Bible Committee. You know, I teach, I don't mean me, I'm saying, I teach here at this college, and there's not many people here. It's not, it's not much of a college. They came to me and asked me a question about their, the King James Bible. I, it wasn't just a, the entire people of England. And even the common person could be, if it came into their hand, if it came into their eyes, and if they would have questions, they would write it up. It came to be, let's look at it. But we're not going to work the world. We're going to work the Holy Spirit. And we want the people to have it in English. We are going to make it more English. So it can be read. But we're not going to do a better rending. It was reviewed again by skilled, trained men in the kingdom. It was reviewed. It was reviewed. It was reviewed. It was looked over. It was looked over. It was studied. It was studied. It was prayed for. It was prayed for. It was fasting. There was fasting. They got together. It went in this hand. It went in that hand. It went in this hand. It went into those hands. It went in there. It was written. It was studied. That's the King James Bible. Reviewed by a final group. Six of the original translators of the 54. So when they finished it all up, they had one final group of men, six of the 54. All right, let's review it. Checks and balances. Checks and balance. Uh, you didn't dot your I. Oh, uh, send it back. You know, it'd be like, I come from Connecticut. It'd be like going to the Department of Motor Vehicles. You didn't cross your T. Go back, fix it, and get in line again. And when you went to the Department of Motor Vehicles in Connecticut, plan to, to stay there the whole day. That's the wrong name. Go back and fix it. That's the wrong form. Here's the form. Go back and fix it. Resources and supplies. Hebrew and Greek. Your masses, texts, Bezin and Stephanus. The ancient versions of the Latin of Syria, Acts 11.26, and when they had found him, he brought him unto Antioch, and it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church, taught much people, and the disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. I had a pastor tell me, you know, they were Christians in the Old Testament. Uh, they weren't Christians until Acts 11.26. Chaldee, Spanish, French, Dutch, and Italian. The design, valued as a history book, rather the word of God, the Apocrypha. So the Apocrypha was like, it's history. But it's not the word of God. Yes, the King James people put the Apocrypha in the Bible, but it wasn't the Bible. That's why like if I go, I go to the store, I get a King James Bible. And in it, they have where you can put your family tree. All right, it's in the Bible, but it's not the Bible. Words added by the translator were italics. You know what the italics are? words in the Bible is 
where the translators did not have a translation. Honestly put what they believed and prayed and fasted to be, they put it on in tallies. Now, if you were to use the word toothbrush, okay, I go, I need a toothbrush. But if you were to go Spanish, you wouldn't say toothbrush. You would say brush of or for the teeth. You had to put more words. Chapter and verses were in concord to the Geneva Bible. And the topic was gospel. Now, errors. Errors. Errors in the King James Bible. I'm going to tell you what the errors are. Exodus 38.10 Their pillars were 20 Their brazen sockets 20 The hooks and pillars in their fillets were silver Hooks was hoops at the press Oops Leviticus 13.56 And the priest looked and behold the plague would be somewhat dark after the washing of it then he shall rent it out of the garment, out of the skin, out of the warp, and out of the wool. The plague was a plain, P-L-A-N-E, of the press. So it would be, behold, the plain was somewhat dark. Oops, that's an error in the King James. We get some more. <coughs> error of the King James Bible. <coughs> Matthew 16.25 for whosoever, shall, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. Uh, his was his, his of the press. So there was two hisses by accident. Psalm 69, 32. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek God. When they went to press, it said, seek good, not God. Oops. Errors in the King James Bible. Da, 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 da. Isaiah 30, Isaiah 13, 8. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. Well, in the press, it was a as a woman that traveled. <laughs> Big difference. Errors in the King James Bible. First Corinthians six nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor infinite, or abusers of men, of themselves with mankind. Okay. When it went to press, know ye not that the unrighteous shall inherit the kingdom of God. Somebody forgot the word not. <laughs> wow! That was called the unrighteous Bible for a while. That was an error in the king. They forgot the word. Amazing what a three-letter word will do. What's your modern Bible do? Error in the Bible. King James. Psalms 119, 161. Shims. Princes have persecuted me without cause, but my heart standeth in awe of the word. The princes were printers in the, in, at press time. And there's John 8, 11. She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. The press said, go and sin on more. Oops! That's an error. There's a good King James error. Go sin more. Mark 7, 27. But Jesus said unto her, let the children first be filled. For it is not me to take children's bread and cast it to the dogs. Right, right. It's the, the, when it went to press, 
It said, let the children first be killed. This was called the murderer's Bible. That's an error. Errors in the King James Bible. I'm giving them to you. Jude 16. They're murderers, murmurers, complainers. Well, that murmurers was called murderers at press. Here's another murderer's Bible. First Timothy 5.21 I charge thee before God. When it went to press the King James era, I discharge thee. That's an error. And that's it. We got one more study. Could be two more times. I have 42 references here. If you go to our webpage, you go to our download page, you can download this report. I got it right here in the book. I'm going to print out the next lesson. It should be one or two weeks. Then we're going to be done. I've told you things that your pastor doesn't even know. That's a shame. 